the pesticide it is used uh, in uh, for killing pests also it is commonly used and the most commonly uh, presentable symptoms in individual who come into er are when it is used as a grain preservatives grain preservatives means those uh, people those farmers who preserve grains for a long period of time at their homes they for uh, protecting the uh, reservoir from any pest they put these tablets as you can see in the picture the aluminum phosphide they are in the form of tablets like a medicinal tablets grayish white in color they put uh, they put these tablets uh, inside the uh, grain bags and they seal it up so aluminum phosphide is a solid under various uh, is sold under various brands or market names hote hain iske sulfos alfos fumigren ya phosphotoxin phosphotoxin ke naam se available hote hain so one tablet is basically around 3 grams and uh, as i have told before medicinal preparation ki tarah iski appearance hoti hai and it contains about iske active ingredients mein 38 33 परसेंट जो इंग्रीडियंट्स होते हैं जिसमें से जो सबसे टॉक्सिक होता है जिसकी वजह से सिम्टम्स प्रोड्यूस होते हैं इज वन ग्राम ऑफ फॉस्टीन एज वी हैव सेड दैट इट इज यूज एज अ ग्रेन प्रिजर्वेटिव अदर नेम इट इज कॉल्ड बाय इज अ वीट पिल सो एनी इंडिविजुअल हु प्रेजेंट इन एमरजेंसी बाय कंप्लेनिंग दैट ही और शी has uh, deliberately or accidentally ingested uh, a, a pill which is of uh, grayish black in color grayish white in color and it was uh, uh, they found that inside the preservative uh, on the grains you can easily diagnose it as it is a pesticide so wheat pills are uh, wheat pills or rice pills are commonly available uh, aluminum phosphides or the zinc phosphide the pill is composed about 48 44% of inert ingredients jo uh, jo inert ingredients hote hain aur uske sath sath iske andar aluminum phosphide 56% hota hai inert uh, jo ingredients hote hain they are added because of ke decomposition now tablet jo usi uh, solid form mein hai the mode of action uh, aluminum phosphide is uh, releases phosphine iski jo mode of action hai depend karta hai mode of iski ingestion pe ya mode of exposure pe if it is ingestible it is more lethal kyunki that liberates phosphine gas when it comes in contact with the uh, gastric juices of the gut so these this phosphines they alter the uh, structure of the mitochondria and they inhibit the oxidative respiration of the cells up to 70% so you can imagine if 70% of the cellular function is lost so how much toxic it is and that's why the lethal effect of these pills they can be within minutes or hours the effect of phosphine on the cellular mechanism now on the cellular level it affects uh, according to three ways first is the inhibition of the acetylcholine esterase now these when acetylcholine esterase enzyme is inhibited uh, it results in the accumulation of acetylcholine in the synaptic cap just like in in an organophosphate compound poisoning so what happens when Uh, acetylcholine is accumulated it causes at the synaptic cap it causes over stimulation of the nicotinic as well as the muscarinic receptors the muscarinic receptors mein salivation hoti hai sweating bahut zyada ho rahi hoti hai aur nicotinic mein jo hai wo muscle uh, uh, symptoms aate hain like muscle fasciculations muscle weakness hoti hai uh, eyes mein pinpoint hemiosis hoti hai <clears throat> उसके अलावा इनिबेशन ऑफ दी पर ऑक्सीडेज अब एल्यूमिनियम द फॉस्फाइड बेसिकली पर ऑक्सीडेज का फंक्शन ये होता है कि इट कॉजेज द एक्यूमिलेशन ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड इन द सेल्स सो वेन द पर ऑक्सीडाइज पर ऑक्सीडेज इंजाइम इज इनहिबिटेड इट कॉजेज द इनफ्लेमेशन ऑफ दी वेसल रिजल्टिंग इन दी हिमोलिस ऑफ द आर डिसीज तो डिसमिनेटेड इंट्रावेस्कुलर कॉग्यूलिटी के सिम्टम्स मिलते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इनिबेशन 
and last is the inhibition of the glycerol phosphate dehydrogenase uh, this acts as a transport uh, 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 shuttle for uh, in the atp pathway so if it is inhibited the uh, the transport of the atp and respiratory processes uh, also alter <clears throat> only a part of the tablet is usually sufficient for the purpose now you can see this one tablet which is of the 3 gram if a person takes even if a half part of it it becomes lethal ke cellular symptoms jo hote hain bahut immediately aate hain the toxic effects are due to as we have discussed the phosphine gas ki liberation hoti hai jab phosphine gas jab uh, when it is ingested these tablets when it come in contact with the uh, uh, gastric juices of the gastric enzymes suddenly isko air milta hai isko moisture milta hai to blast like effect hota hai means they suddenly there is liberation of uh, uh, energy uh, there is uh, production of gases jiski wajah se corrosive like effect hota hai flame effect hota hai burning hoti hai hemorrhages develop hote hain it is rapidly rapidly absorbed through the git by simple diffusion phosphine as uh, or just ke effects kyunki gut uh, 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 enzymes jo ye contact mein aata hai to protoplasmic poison aata hai protoplasmic poison ke effects hi jo hote hain it it is like a burn effect uh, poison hota hai to jab on autopsy when you open a uh, git to bilkul uh, like a third degree a second degree burn type hemorrhages hai wo uh, mucosa mein milte hain <clears throat> now the sign and symptoms sign and symptoms according to the uh, symptoms they are enlisted like in gastrointestinal system there will be nausea vomiting uh, uh, thirst epigastric burning because of the liberation of the phosphine gas abdominal cramps hepatic tenderness and acute pancreatitis the cardiovascular symptoms are hypotension uh, bradycardia tachycardia the uh, and ammonium phosphide poison they have pronounced effect on the cardiovascular systems the shock and chestitis and, and uh, myocardial infarction <clears throat> the pulmonary symptoms there will be dyspnea cough pulmonary edema uh, pulmonary effusion acute respiratory distress uh, symptoms will be seen renal effects are oliguria Uh, protein urea hematuria because of uh, the disseminated intravascular coagulities means bleeding jo it will be of any side other upper gi lower gi uh, kidney uh, uh, becomes hemorrhagic nervous system anxiety restlessness seizures uh, seizures and coma they are the last before a person expires electrolyte imbalance because of the persistent vomiting and gi disturbance may cause hypomagnesemia hypokalemia hyperkalemia which are also the uh, main cause of the metabolic acidosis and endocrine uh, symptoms will be hypoglycemic and hyperglycemic when you examine individual who have ingested or who have inhaled the fumes of aluminium phosphide the symptoms will be quite different on ingestion the gi system uh, symptoms are more pronounced and on uh, on uh, 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 inhalation of the fumes the respiratory symptoms and the cns symptoms they are more pronounced there is on examination there is intravascular hemolysis because of the phosphine gas liberation cardiovascular effects include when you exam on cardiovascular examination the diagnostic uh, signs will be the raised jvp jugular vena pressure uh, the heart sounds will be feeble uh, there will be s3 gallop can be uh, uh, recognized there will be broad complex tachycardia t wave abnormalities and last because of the continuous hypotension and the continuous raised jvp there will be reduced lv diastolic function which could be appreciable on the echocardiogram and initially if the person initially half an hour ya one hour may uh, emergency may present karta hai he may have because of myocardial infarction like symptoms chest tightness and when the uh, if ecg is done he will have an anterior inferior ischemia 
in case of acute poisoning means if he has inhaled the fumes they will be uh, result in uh, pulmonary irritation which may cause pulmonary edema as you can see and these pulmonary edema they are very uh, they they gradually they develop because if he has presented in emergency within 1 hour and you uh, and his uh, chest radiograph is done initially it will be like a healthy lung but if you do a series of uh, radiograph examination over the period of time he has been admitted the chest x ray becomes worse uh, to the coming day because of the metabolic acidosis the patient may develop acute respiratory distress syndrome uh, gastric and duodenal inflammation and bleeding because of the uh, proteolytic effects वो ओरल इंजेक्शन में होता है जैसे आप डिस्कवर्ड के इनहेलेशन और ओरल में जो सिम्टम्स होते हैं वो रेस्परेटरी और जी आई के प्रोनाउंस होते हैं मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोसिस आर फ्रीक्वेंटली सीन अच्छा मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोसिस अगेन दी साइन एंड सिम्टम्स दे ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम फॉस्फाइड पॉइजनिंग दे बिकम दे डिटोरिएट अकॉर्डिंग टू दी टाइम इंटरवल इनिशियली ही विल बी ही विल लुक नॉर्मल he will be conscious and oriented but as the time passes even if he has ingested one tablet one tablet of aluminium phosphide accidentally or any suicidal intent or if he has inhaled the fumes for a prolonged time the symptoms they are very toxic so because of metabol because of metabolic acidosis his kidney will be uh, damaged may result in hypokalemia hypokalemia is because of the increased output in uh, because of the muscarinic effects on the body uh, hypomagnesemia may result may cause uh, arrhythmias in the heart and electrolyte uh, abnormalities so the electrolyte uh, examination should be done periodically the poisoning symptoms uh, they they can be mild to moderate to severe depending upon the presentable time kya uska kis kitne early wo present kiya hai as we have discussed the fatal dose of one pallet a 3 gram of uh, 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 gram of one tablet of aluminium phosphide is fatal and is sufficient to kill an adult person just one tablet inhalation of phosphine at a level of 400 to 600 mg per uh, liter is lethal so tablet form mein jo uski presentation uh, uh, is tarah ki hoti hai aur powder form mein jo hota hai wo grayish appearance hoti hai fatal period the period it ranges from 30 minutes to few hours means if a person who has presented within a 30 minute time period he should not be sent home but he should be admitted for observation for at least 24 to 48 hours because initially as i have said before symptoms will be uh, mild but over the time it will deteriorate <clears throat> sometimes death may be delayed for a few days if the person is hospitalized why because in his course resuscitation hogi he will be hyperventilated he is input and output is going to be monitored but इफ क्योंकि इसकी जो ट्रीटमेंट होती है वो फॉर एलमोनियम फॉस्फाइट की इज ओनली ए सिम्टोमैटिक ट्रीटमेंट हाउ यू डायग्नोज अ पर्सन हु हैज इंजेस्टेड एलमोनियम फॉस्फाइट डायग्नोसिस डिपेंड्स अपॉन द हिस्ट्री समटाइम्स अ पर्सन हु इज प्रेजेंटेड इन ई आर ही इज कॉन्शियस एंड ओरिएंटेड ही विल गिव द हिस्ट्री दैट ही हैज ingested accidentally or intentionally has ingested uh, the aluminium phosphide tablets sometimes there are accidental exposure like uh, a air back in uh, in karachi um, there was there was case of a family who went uh, who stayed a night at a guest house with the five children or four children along with the aunt and they were found uh, dead in the guest house initially it was suspected that it is a case of Uh, of food poisoning but later it was diagnosed that the owner of the guest house they had uh, fumigated the their rooms and aluminum phosphide tablet were found in each of the rooms so because the death was not because of the ingestion but the death was because of the inhalation of the 
फॉस्टीन एल्यूमिनियम फॉस्फाइड फ्यूम्स बिकॉज एयर में जब एक्सपोजर होता है उन टैबलेट्स का तो इट लिबरेट फॉस्टीन गैस सो डायग्नोसिस तो एक हिस्ट्री से होती है सेकेंडली इफ अनोन बॉडी इज रिसीव इन दर एंड यू सस्पेक्ट दैट दिस इज एल्यूमिनियम फॉस्फाइड सो सिल्वर नाइट्रेट टेस्ट कैन बी डन Uh, it is done uh, in two ways. Either the gastric decontamination sample, the uh, gastric contents that is lavashed, uh, those samples they they are uh, exposed to silver nitrate and it turns black, or either uh, a piece of paper with a spread of silver nitrate and it is got near the patient's breath, so it also turns black. So both are the ways in which we can diagnose. It. This test strip can be used. Its fifty percent of its sensitivity is for uh, for a, as a breath, and eighteen uh, percent. And sorry, a gastric contents ki jo is ki hundred percent sensitivity hai. Another way of diagnosing is the serial blood series of blood levels examination, which may complete blood picture. Ah, uh, uh, examine kiya jata hai. Uh, there is electrolyte uh, it, uh, series of electrolyte tests with sodium potassium chloride and magnesium levels ko check kiya jata hai third is the uh, blood level of phosphine uh, ko monitor kiya jata hai in case of acute intoxication coagulation uh, uh, profile ko uh, monitor kiya jata hai because it causes uh, uh, rbc hemolysis with resultant disseminated dic Uh, renal uh, and the liver function test are uh, also examined and uh, if he is uh, admitted and it develops and if he or she the patient develops metabolic acidosis then a series of abgs are done uh, uh, two times a day to monitor the uh, if he if the metabolic acidosis uh, is uh, on the normal way then a chest x ray is done uh, again a series of chest x ray to monitor if there is any uh, acute respiratory distress injury or if he has developed any pulmonary effusion or pulmonary edema and heart is also monitored because uh, as we have dis discussed uh, it may cause hypotension uh, which may result in raised uh cvp levels intravenous pressure levels also measure karte hain because of persistent hypotension and persistent inotropic support mein hota hai which may cause uh, lv dysfunction now you have diagnosed that the person is has been exposed to aluminium phosphide how will you treat it for uh, for such exposure the first step is to secure the airway um uh, blood and circulation that should be maintained uh, oxygen is given uh, airway should be patent uh, iv line should be maintained and a 0.9 percent of normal saline bolus is given to maintaining the input and output charge and because the patient is in shock because of the uh, proteolytic effects on the mucosa uh, He is given is put on the inotropic support uh, for a heart. Uh, now, vegetable oil or liquid paraffin. Why do we use uh, prior to giving or uh, doing a gastric lavage? Uh, there have been reported cases where the people, where individuals who have ingested the uh, tablets and when they present in the ER within a uh, 30 minutes and those paramedics who perform their gastric lavage, there has been incident uh, incidents of burst abdomen or a sudden uh, 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 episode of a fire from the uh, oral cavity, a burns. Which is because when you do gastric lavage, you may introduce air into the stomach, which may result in the liberation of the phosphate gas, and which may cause second or third degree burns. So that's why a layer of a vegetable oil or a liquid paraffin uh, is coated uh, in uh, before prior to uh, uh, performing the gastric lavage, gastric de uh, decontamination. Then the person is decontaminated. His if uh, his face and his clothing should be removed. <clears throat> so 
for metabolic acidosis sodium bicarbonate infusion is uh, started and uh, his um, abgs are monitored since phosphine is excreted excretion is ki lung se bhi hoti hai and kidney se bhi hoti hai to uh, chest radiographs and the kidney function tests should be uh, monitored after a series of iv infusions aluminum phosphide has no specific antidote so for gastric leverage uh, potassium uh, per magnet can be used the patient should be maintained on supportive treatment uh, whatever the symptoms are and symptomatic treatment should be done mortality as we have discussed is very high a person who has ingested one tablet if is if that one tablet is lethal to him he will die immediately up even a person who has been reported cases that the person who has ingested four tablets he has survived so all it depends upon the uh, lethal effect of aluminum phosphide to individuals to individuals iv fluid uh, therapy should be guided through central venous central uh, uh, venous line is maintained and then cvp pressure is maintained along with the pulmonary capillary vest pressure which should be between 12 to 14 cm of water the systolic blood pressure should be kept above 90 uh, by a inotropic support that is a dopamine 4 to 6 mg per kg per minute because there is going to be series and persistence of hypotensive episode acha a hydrocortisone is liye diye jati hai ki kyunki jab persistent inotropic support pe rakha jata hai it may cause damage to the capillary network jiski wajah se रिस्परेटरी या लंग इंजरी हो सकती है और रिस्परेटरी डिस्ट्रेस डेवलप कर सकता है दैट्स वाई ऑल्टरनेटिवली हाइड्रोकॉर्डिजोन फ्लोड एंड आइंट्रोपिक सपोर्ट पर रखा जाता है नाउ दिस इज अ ओवर व्यू ऑफ चार्ट इन विच हाउ टू मैनेज और ट्रीट अ केस ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम फॉस्फाइट इफ अ पर्सन इज इंजेस्टेड अ वीट फिल विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन इज एल्यूमिनियम फॉस्फाइट and uh, if he is early arrived at the emergency so basically you do the resuscitation you maintain the airway breathing and circulation and then you contact the poisoning control center uh, then you do the diagnostic test series of blood tests and the diagnostic test with the silver nitrate test then you do the gut decontamination potassium permanganate on gastric Levage or activated charcoal can be given and coconut oil. These three can be used for gut uh, decontamination. And then uh, finally, the lab work is done. And then you wait for the uh, recovery process. That whatever the symptoms develop, you treat it that accordingly. In a case where there is a when a person who uh, who arrived on uh, in emergency in an unconscious state, you do the advanced resuscitation. Uh, support and uh, you may think that following are the injuries that may have been occurred like in cases of acute lung injury and he is not maintaining his oxygen oxygen saturation which is below the 90 uh, percent you have to put that individual on a mechanical ventilation if uh, he has developed arrhythmia like a ventricular tachycardia or seen a block uh, or is hypotensive at the episode or is developed Uh, rhythm uh, this abnormalities you have to re uh, uh, replace it with the magnesium or uh, or uh, replacement therapies and, and anti arrhythmias are given in such condition if the individual is in shock is in hypotensive state is in bleeding uh, so what you do is then you maintain an iv line you maintain a central venous pressure you guide the fluid you maintain an intra uh, uh, input and output chart Uh, you give vasoactive agents and you put him on inotropic support and the mechanical support is uh, is being put on if he is in metabolic acidosis so sodium bicarbonate levels are measured and then uh, on the basis of the injury to the kidneys he it will be put on the hemodialysis uh if the <coughs> enzyme levels are elevated and he has developed the uh, disseminated intravascular coagulability you uh, you you try to save his uh, liver and maintain that the minimal damage to the liver by giving an acetyl cysteine which is protective liver protector 
uh, and other measurements which are continuous over the period of time he is of the ventilator support is the electrolytes should be corrected and measured regularly blood glucose is corrected and measured regularly magnesium is corrected and measured regularly steroids are given because he is on inotropic support and to prevent any injury to the lungs and finally vitamin c is given now following are the poor prognosis factors if if one of these factors they are found in an individual who has presented an er you you uh, define uh, its prognosis on the basis of that means if he has a low uh, glaucoma scale he is unconscious he is not responding to any pain stimuli his reflexes are diminished you you measure his glaucoma scale if he is in shock if he is if he has any acute uh, electrocardiograph uh, changes means acute in, in, in the changes for mi he has a t wave inversions is in ventricular ventricular tachycardia you, uh, you define that prognosis according to that if he has low prothrombin time that is coagulopathy profile is uh, disturbed if he is hyperleukocytosis Uh, there is you because of the uh, low oxygen saturation and he is unable to respire on his own you put him on a mechanical ventilation support and you are using vasoactive uh, agents to uh, increase it, uh, its its uh, heart function and to increase its blood pressure and uh, uh, its pulse so these are the agents if any of these are used it is it is categorized that an individual has a very uh, poor prognosis for survival <clears throat> now post mortem appearance if an individual expires because of uh, exposure to aluminum phosphide and and you the history is insignificant you don't know what is the causative agent of the death so what are the how will you diagnose it so on post mortem findings externally you will not have any specific findings externally there will not be any any diagnostic ki aap usko identify kar sakte hain ki this is a case of aluminum phosphide exposure but when you open a cavity the when you open his body there will be a garlic odor the Ga garlic odor is basically uh, the environment that is produced by the phosphine gas so phosphine का इंट्रैक्शन होता है विद एयर या मॉइस्चर से देर इज अ गार्लिक लाइक स्ट्रॉन्ग पंजन ओडोर होती है दैट इज डायग्नोस्टिक फॉर एलुमिनियम फॉस्फाइड सो इफ पीपल हु यूज एलुमिनियम फॉस्फाइड टैबलेट्स फॉर फ्यूमिगेशन पर्पज इफ यू कैन दोज यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई दो दे हैव यूज दिस टैबलेट यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई दैट इट्स अ गार्लिक टाइप स्मेल अराउंड दी इन्वायरमेंट एंड इट टेक्स टाइम इट टेक्स प्रॉपर वेंटिलेशन टू रिमूव दैट स्मेल सो just such like a odor is found in the dead body there will be congestion hemorrhages in the gastric mucosa why because agar ingested agar if he has ingested those tablets so because of these uh, proteolytic activity of the phosphine gas it causes bleeding as you can see in the picture this is the <clears throat> autopsy of the uh, stomach mucosa and it is open this stomach mucosa is open you can see that there is hemorrhages and there is blackening now these blackening is just like a burn mark so burn hoti hai it is because of aluminum phosphide there will be bleeding diastasis uh, uh, there will be acute tubular necrosis and uh, fatty liver changes can be now let's discuss the medical legal aspect of the case study uh, a case is of a 26 year old lady was brought to a hospital after she has allegedly ingested two tablets of 3 grams of aluminum phosphide she took the tablets at in the morning and following an argument with her family um, and she had an episode of vom vomit and passed through 10 times at the private hospital uh, gastric lavage was performed to decontaminate the stomach uh, due to her or initially wo hemodynamically she was unstable ki blood pressure was 140 uh, pulse was 146 her blood pressure was severely hypotensive 60 to 40 mg mercury iska blood pressure tha to iski initially iski resuscitate kiya gaya iv fluid diya gaya inotropic support diya gaya and then she was told to uh, to move to a tertiary hospital <clears throat> a 
Upon arrival at the uh, tertiary hospital, she became drowsy, pale, cold, and she had a clammy skin. It, it refers to that even on the fluid she was given, even on the inotropic support, she, her heart was not uh, maintaining the contractibility state, and that's why such symptoms. While transferring the patient to the bed, uh, suddenly she become, became unresponsiveness and pulseless, even on the inotropic support. So resuscitation was started. Uh, her uh, cardiac monitoring showed that she developed ventricular uh, tachycardia, and that was reverted back. She was defibrillated three times. Three times she was defibrillated, and then usko IV amaya drawn antiarrhythmia usko diya gaya taaki heart rhythm was brought back to normal. The arrhythmias persisted despite the intervention. The uh, if such cases for IV magnesium sulfate, calcium gluconate, sodium bicarbonate was also administered because she also developed metabolic acidosis after uh, ADGs were done. Patient then she was intubated because of the these symptoms. It was uh, for now that she needs to be intubated and she needs to be in, uh, ventilated and resuscitation should be done. So after that spontaneous circulation, 30 minutes ke baad, her rhythm was normal. But suddenly she developed seizures. Now, as we have discussed your complications, may we have discussed that if an individual develops such seizures and such resuscitation, then the prognosis is very bad. Central venous catheter was inserted. Why? Because uh, we need to measure because heart is not uh, contracting. She is on inotropic support. We need to measure the input output, what is happening inside the heart. Bedside ultrasound uh, was done, which shows that we were, which all the symptoms are, we have uh, uh, you know, read here that heart is in poor contractibility state. Four, even on the, she's on four anotropic supports, when not adrenaline dijari, adrenaline dijari, dobutamine dijari, dopamine. Up to that is the final, that this is a very bad prognosis. And she had persistent hypotension. Even on the four anotropes, her heart was not uh, revived to normal. Then again, second cardiac arrest, she developed resuscitation was done. Uh, and then after seven hours, she expired. So a postmortem when a postmortem uh, was done, the gastric contents, uh, they still had, uh, even after decontamination, aluminum phosphide particles.